Hello people, what have I got myself into? I've decided, oh god, I'm gonna try and build Buckingham Palace. Not sure how it's gonna go because it's so big, I don't think it'll fit all on this lot. It's um, very big, basically. That's a crap picture that I've just... I've got a good picture and now it's... Right, okay. There's like arches through into back bits, so we'll... Uh, but we'll figure it all out. So we're just basically just gonna... I'm just... I'm starting... I don't know how I'm gonna start it. I'm only doing the main building, though, not the building, off to the left. I'm just gonna miss all that out basically just do a big square and um, because that's what it looks like to me uh, let's get the gates in first because I do struggle trying to get it all to align so the palace gates I've never been by the way I just I'm looking at a picture they look a bit like I can't actually they're sort of they're white columns, so we'll just go like that. So how far in can I go? Yeah, about that far. And then I may as well just not actually put it around the whole thing, just uh, if you know what I mean. And then just get the gate in and then centralise it all from there. Oh, right, okay. I've done it. It's up the wrong colour. I didn't want it to be that colour, really. I wanted it to be... How? What colour is it in real life? Is it that colour or is it... It was the, this colour. This colour, so... I'm going to have to change the fence, which is fine. Uh, it's not that one, it's this one. Presume that's it. That's right. So obviously I can't build the big bit where all the people would stand in with the big fat fountain. I just there is not room to do that, so we won't be doing it. It'd be good if there was like just a massive, massive lot. Like this isn't big enough, is it? I know there's bigger lots in other worlds, um, but I don't have all the other worlds, you know what I mean? So There's a good foot or two between the fence and the actual main door, but I'm sorry to say it ladies and gentlemen, we will not have enough room to be building like that. I'm literally just going to get in, stuck in with the walls and go in from edge to edge Oh shit, I can't go that close to the gate, I should have known. How, can, how much can I leave for the gate? About that much? Yeah, that's fine then, I'll leave about that much. It is so big. Um, okay. I don't know how long this is going to take me to build it, but all the worms are the tall... Worms? Walls are the tallest walls possible. And I'm going to take it all the way to like there and then, well actually the wall goes all the way like across like that and then there's like a good thickness to it. I normally do things like this like one room at a time because it makes it so much easier um, but I can't, I know I'm doing it all wrong, I'm doing it wrong. Because at the back there's an entrance as well, which is a bit weird. Well, it's not weird because it's such a massive place, so... Do the wall about there, shall we? Bear with me, I'm so sorry guys. I've got to get it a bit right at least, have not I? So let's come in with this fence again. If I just join the fence to the castle, then no one that is unwanted can get in. 
and then I'll leave well I need enough room for the bloody gate so let's just see if this works I am trying my best because I always do but you know my best isn't always good enough so if you want to judge me on this video just think about what you're saying because I know that I can't make these things perfect uh, and it's you a lot that think I can for some reason or that youtubers can or people on YouTube or whatever but they can't like not everyone is good at everything do you know what I mean so I'm going in here how far away is that three four three six seven so I need to leave seven at this side three six seven three six seven again three six seven so that's this is how big the courtyard's gonna be brilliant now let's remove the floor that's it my fellow companions I'm not gonna get rid of the um, sort of like concrete because it's all concrete in the courtyard as far as I can tell so don't be worrying about such things so to me it looks like this whole bottom floor is actually just tunnels and little rooms so if that's what it is then let's do that so from the main door which is here i'm gonna do it right how many one How many is that? Four. I'm going to do it four like this. And then three, four like this. And then this is going to be the main front hall bit, whatever you want to call it. Where all the ornate things are and the balcony is. So, I should have copied and pasted it all before I did this. And make it a tall wall and it's three three stories so keep going for one more you can only go up to four stories in sims you know excuse me this should be working right why isn't it working then It always works, so why are you not working now? Fine, piss off. I'll just have to... I can't even try again. I'll just have to draw it myself. Which isn't a problem, I suppose. Considering... It, them things in the way you know them things at the corner are in the bloody way right we haven't overlapped anywhere have we no that sounds good to me and do you know what let's just should we just get the bloody no let's just carry on do you know i get so distracted by things <laughs> Right, well, I was looking at my computer then for the picture, but it's on my phone. Right, so this end block here is interesting. And it's the same at that side too. So these are actually tunnels. And there's three windows, so I'm going to put three there. Three there. Let's go four windows at each side. Three, four. So the tunnel is three wide. But four in. 
It makes sense to me, guys. I know what I'm doing. I think. So, there, the little ones are the tunnels. But the tunnels don't go all the way to the top, so we'll use the medium ones. And these are big tunnels, and everything I do will be... Looks like they're all white. So I'm going to go for white this time. And then I presume that they, they lead all the way through, like that but there must be something in there to be sure that people don't get through so mind you no there must be something in the middle of that and i'm gonna have these as like security desks because i am gonna fill the middle of it as well like the whole of like the rooms and everything, I'm gonna fill all that too. But let's just get the doors on first <laughs> because I'm getting carried away already and we haven't even got the doors on yet. Right, so this is a big one. Right, it's not as big as I thought. How many is it? Three wide. Does it fit here? <gasps> yes, it does. That is what I wanted though. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sorry guys, bear with me. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Because I totally didn't realise that this would fit in this slot. Because I thought it was actually bigger than three holes. So, main door needs to be like that. Is there, are them two doorways there? Yes they are. So there's actually two little doorways next to the big doorway. Now then, we don't have a little version of the arch. So it's not going to look as pristine as we hang on a minute. What's this? Is that? Are you kidding me? Right, there's a little gap. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Jesus Christ. Right, so there's a, there is a little gap. And like, there's a light above it or something. Um, I don't, I don't freaking know. So I presume that this is just an entryway that people can see but somehow you must be able to get up here this room is stepped back a few because it's actually the royal balcony oh yes it is what, how far did I put it? three? oh shit sorry, sorry guys for my swearing I watched back one of my old videos and I realised actually I swear too much and I say some very vulgar words. Um, so I apologise. I'm not apologising for my Charles and Camilla video though. Because there's nothing to apologise for basically. Right. So there must be sort of like a way into the courtyard through this. So we're going to pretend that the world isn't as bad as it is. And we're just going to put the walls. We're just going to let the, the alleyway things go through to the alleyways, okay? Go through to the middle bit, I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah. This is good. Uh. I haven't ever been very confident with my decisions before. How do they get onto the balcony, I wonder? I think they must go through an archway here that we can't see. 
this is what I'm guessing anyway. And then the balcony is actually a short wall. See how long this wall is? Yeah, that's probably about right actually, guys. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm really enjoying this. Oh my god, I don't normally enjoy things. Right, they don't need any sort of... Ooh, what's that? What did that do? What made it look like? Right, okay. Right, what is that? I don't understand what that does, but alright. We'll go for... A white trim. And then there's white windows and columns. There's, there should be like three big columns. Like very, very big columns. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I know I keep saying that, but I want to stress it to you. Yeah, that looks about right. So there's one there, and that's how many is that in? Four? Four in. And uh, it must be placed on the floor. <sighs> you bastard. I don't have a floor. Maybe if I. If I do this. And then put a spindle in. What sort would they have in the palace? Probably one like that. And then, can I get rid of the floor now? No. Um, right, this isn't working the way I wanted it to then. I'll just get rid of them for now and continue with everything else first. So, I've done that. I've shown them walls. Now we need to do these walls. And this doorway is a square doorway, just like the other one, but we used a circle rounded doorway instead. Which will be fine because it matches. And the world isn't as horrible a place as it is in Sims. No, I'm joking. It's the other way around, I mean. So, this whole bottom row should be different coloured to the next two rows. So, let's get on with that now. I'm trying to find the right paneling. It's brick but it's sideways brick. Just like that. <laughs> yep, just like that. So, and I think it's this colour as well to be honest. Yeah it is. So I'm doing the whole base as this one. And I'd like to think that these rooms are that colour too. Because they're like the office rooms. So I'm going to do them colours. And then I'm going to do it that colour in the... Not the graveyard. The courtyard. So that's looking good. And now the next bit is sort of like this one. I'm doing this. I'm doing this right. Okay, even that is like that. Oh my goodness me. And then the next one is like that too. And then there is now next one. It's not looking bad at the minute, guys. It's not looking bad. So somehow we need to put some sort of like... I don't know. I didn't want to show that bit of the... 
wall. Yeah, that'll be doing fine. Uh, that was a funny noise from me. My bloody phone's gone off. Right. Um, there is a roof over it. But the roof. Don't tell me it's like Sims 3 where I can't put the roof over that. It's not like Sims 3. Right. I'm going to have to move that one square like that. So there's, there's that type of roof, wall, roof, walrus, like, and it's, yeah, probably like that to be fair. Right, let's see if these work, because they don't, norm for me normally, they never work. <laughs> I just don't understand them to be honest. It looks like they're working for me at this time. Okay, darling, let's carry on. So that's for that. This is an exterior trim. There is one down here. Wow. I feel like I've just iced the cake. Do you know what I mean? This never works for me, but today it is, so thanks guys. Um, let's just quickly save it because uh, otherwise I'd be shitting because I've made such a good house or castle. This is Buckingham Palace, in fact, um, not just any castle or house. And I wasn't paid to say any of that. Let's just get this floor side out because it's actually annoying me. I, th I like to think it looks like that. Well, let's carry on looking. Is it this one just without the... No, it's redder than that, isn't it? Is it redder? Can you get redder than that? I think this looks about right. Yeah, that's all right, that one. Yeah, that's fine. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, God. Maybe not. Maybe it looks like this. Because that's a bit square, isn't it? That's a bit more like it, I think. But it certainly needs to be really red. But that's like not that red, is it? Never mind. This is Sims after all. I should be able to, yeah. I thought so. Right then, darlings. Let's carry on. I'll put the windows. Oh shit. I'll put the windows in for you. None of the windows I want because the windows I want. However, they look rather different. They look... Shit. I can't see the ones I want to put up. Is this an arched one? It is an arched one. Oh, that's small. That's too small. Right. Try this one. Let's just get on with the bottom floor first before we... Shit, I'm sure there is a basement. But I don't know what it looks like. Right, how high level? How high? There needs to be three windows here. They're actually quite low down. 
probably so you can see who's coming. Mm. That's about right. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's good, that. And then them ones are right next to the door as well. How's that looking from the outside? Oh, not too shabby. Yeah, not too bad actually. They need to be a bit more spaced out. I think I need to do it from the outside rather than the inside. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, I think I need to do it from the outside rather than the inside. Um, which is okay. Right, there's no windows on that bit. What level are we on? Is it this one or is it this one or this one? This one, I think. Well, you can intersect these windows if that's the right word. <laughs> I'm not sure. Goodness me. One, two, three. Actually, I just want to quickly, out of interest. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Right. Okay, I was just having a quick look to see what was going on there. Right, we're at this level, and they're right next to the door. So this is looking accurate at the minute, guys. I'm not joking. I'm only trying to represent the front, really. Because I know how hard it is to replicate. <laughs> Are there little windows? I think they are. So sorry guys, I'm not finished. I think there are little windows above these windows. On certain doors. Such as all of them. It's not like there. I'd say it's about... There. And it's on every single one. Weird that. It's like there's two floors intersected. Intercepted. Literally, this is all just by going off Google Earth. Not Google Earth. Google Images. So if you think I'm wrong, try it yourself pretty much so we need to find a curved window at the top so like a curved top window if I add this onto this does it make it a curved window I don't think it will I don't think that's how it works now that's a curved window but how big is it that's the trouble it's tiny and these curved windows are quite big so I'm, I'm a bit stuck now there's a curved one there but it's like an open like it's like a door more like a you know a door basically I mean I could use that Not the type I wanted. Do you know, I thought it'd be easy to find a window I wanted, but it's not, is it? For me, anyway. I'm sure you lot could find a window better than me. You're probably screaming at one. Use that one, use that one. I mean, I've just gone past it about 60 times. Let's see what they've got in these sun. Just as bad, isn't it? Just as friggin' bad. I can't use that, it's far too big and don't fit in with the style at all. And that's quite big. And don't fit in with the style, I think they're too big. I think I'm just gonna have to go with the one I saw earlier. 
this one, but sort of like not that colour, that's for sure, not that colour. White. I don't like that, it doesn't match very well, uh, but it's all I can think of. And they're quite spaced out as well. And there's one right there, so let's just go every two, every one block, if you like. Every one block. And that goes on all the way across. I'm surprised I managed that actually without cocking it up. And we're going to do it for this side now. Right, so that was like half a brick away. Half a brick. So it was about there. And then one whole brick away. One whole brick away, and then one whole brick away. Good God, I've managed that. Right, on the balcony we have just three windows. Just three. One, two, three. And that's it for big ones. Columns I'm going to make with walls, believe it or not. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. There won't be any columns. Um, no columns. No columns. So now we need to go back to my trusty little window. This little window. And add a layer up here. Oh, is this the... Yeah, this is the top layer. Oh, it looks lost. Yeah, it looks lost. Maybe I can... Maybe I don't need three layers. Maybe I don't need three layers. Maybe I just needed two. Because it's very far away. But then if it's up there, I can't... No. Okay, we're doing it right. And there's like one of them... Yes, I'm aware that one of them is out of place. But I will fix that. Just like that. And... Now I need this little bugger, one above it, I don't know how you speed run on these things, otherwise I would have speed run this guys because it would have been a lot better speed run because I've already been half an hour. Right, what's let's have a look on the in oh on the inside. <laughs> They're literally like one, two, okay. One, two. And how many is that just only three? So one, two. And then that's it. Three and I believe there are little windows above them as well. Let's have a look. Yes, there are on them ones as well. If you take this just one step at a time, you can do all right because, you know, I would never have been able to do this before. I am not joking you. And I wouldn't have been able to do it because I wouldn't have known where to start. I wouldn't have known, sort of like, how to put anything, you know, normally I use the same windows throughout the whole thing, but this time, 
I've really smashed it, I think. Um, I don't think there's banners that I can put up. There might be, actually. There might be. Now I've said that, I think that there might be banners I can put up. Just not in that section. What section? Not that section. Maybe this one. Yes, it is this one. Right, so is there a banner that's red and red and gold? No, there isn't. So we're gonna have to make do with this one. I don't know what flag that is. Does anybody know? I hope it's not like a different country's flag. I hope it's like a made up flag. If it has to be a flag at all. If it can just, just a bow. Can I put a bow there at least? Just let me put a bow like, no. It's not having it. Well, that looks all right to me. That looks as close as I'm going to get, to be quite, quite honest. Now then. I'm going to quickly put some stone down. To walk on. I think it would walk on something like this up here. Do you? What do you think? I think not. I normally have a nice brick that I can put down. But yeah, that looks good. Well, we'll use that for these holes, entry holes. Mind you, it's a bit orange. It's a bit orange. That's a bit better, I suppose. Yeah, that's all right, that. Oh, I tell you what, actually, no, down here needs to be like that. Even though it's separate. Oh no, down there. No, I was wrong. They are a different colour. I was right the first time. Yeah, I was right the first time. They are a different colour. And so is the least, the littlest bit to get in. Oh god, uh, this is where it doesn't pay off for putting things on half slabs. Just in the main ones, like them. I don't know why, but that's just what it looks like to me. They don't do it in the... Yeah, yeah, they do, but... On a different scale altogether, really. This is the post box. Because you just can't get rid of post boxes in this game. Well, we can change it. So what should we change it to? This one? Or this one? Which one is like a royal mailbox? Let's go the same colour as the flag I've put up there. Because in the United Kingdom we don't have a bloody post boxes. No, we don't have put we don't have these, whatever you call these. What do you call this? A mailbox. We don't have mailboxes. We have post boxes that you put your letters in to get sent. And then we have post boxes on our doors 
letterboxes on our doors, post boxes to send letters, letterboxes on the doors so your post gets put in your house rather than on on a stick. I don't know why, that's just how it is and I like it for how it is. Because I do like our, well, yeah, I do like this country, believe it or not. So that, to me, looks done, doesn't it? Doesn't that look done to you? Oh, roof ain't done, but up there, it's like a friggin, what do you call it? I'm going to have to do all fancy, fancy bloody, um... Wall work, <laughs> whatever you call it, I don't know. Two, two. And then I'll have one block and then a two, one block and then a two. And we'll just go on and on and on and on and on like that for the rest of our lives. Okay, that's a bit taller. I thought it was the wrong one, but I couldn't remember which one was the right one. Two and why does it have to be odd wait no if I do that then all of it's going to be odd okay that's confusing three there and three there but then just two there and two there is that two or just one yeah that's two so yeah you might get bored of me doing all this but that's up to you whether you keep watching or not I am you know forcing you to stay or anything just put one up there for good measure because <laughs> I don't want anybody to fall off for some reason because people have to guard this roof don't they I don't know how they're going to get on the roof like but mind you actually I do know how they're going to get on the roof Because it'll be me that has to make the ladder to get up them on the roof. But I'm not doing that in this video because this video has been long enough. And I don't want to bore everyone. Uh, but I will show you. I've nearly finished this to be fair guys. I'm just adding extra touches now isn't it annoying when it doesn't match up but I don't know what to do about that I don't know what to do about that so it doesn't matter two because it doesn't match up at one end but it does at the other it's very confusing And I need to do this. I don't care how late it gets. I need to do this. N nobody can hear me because I'm in my own room. And I am the only person alive. I'm joking, everybody's alive. So that's looking alright at the minute. I should have kept it going around the top actually. I'll just get rid of them. One, two, one, two, and then leave that as a big long one for some reason. Ah oh dear. <laughs> Nearly done, guys. Nearly done. Let's just go from a distance and see. Does that actually look like a castle? Yes, it does. Let's have one quick last look. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not going to pass that off as a ghost. Like that little girl does. I'm sorry, that was me. I farted. I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't hear it.
let's just build the whole wall and then delete because I don't know why I'm, I'm I don't make things easy for myself that's for sure This would have been easier to do in the first place. I like to do everything the slow way because I am quite a slow person. In case you didn't know already, it takes me a while to do things that other people take only a second to do. So yeah. Now it's not perfect, but nothing's perfect. So let's all just remember that. And now I must go around every piece of wall and colour it in which is seriously boring but that's what you get when you build a castle I am aware that I haven't um I haven't actually done everything on the castle. Like I haven't, I could quickly just put some windows around the edge to be honest and then it's definitely done. Um, but I won't bore you guys too much with that. Um, what I'm going to do is finish that by myself. be looking good though. What colour roof shall we do? Because there isn't really a roof on it in real life I don't think. But we can't be having a hay roof. Just go this one. Looks fine to me. Right one few 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 last things. We must, oh god, that is going to take forever. I'll be back once I've done it. So I've done that bit. I'm going to go around now and do the windows, okay? Because I'm aware that I haven't done them all and it's bugging me. Because I want it to be as good as I can make it. And then we'll do... The what do you call it? I don't know what you call it anymore. We will then. I can't just not put a window, so I'll have to do that. I don't like that noise, what's going on? Um, so yeah, just let me finish this and I'll take you guys a little and then we can call it here for Buckingham Palace Uh, 
uh, which will be good when I can finally say that I've finished Buckingham Palace. Um, because that's a good thing to be able to say. And it's a nice thing because hopefully I've made some people happy. Hopefully somebody will look at this and think, oh, I went there or something. Do you know what I mean? Something nice and wholesome, if you like. Now, I don't tend to use that word because, you know, I don't just, I just don't. But I want someone to look at it and go, I've been there and it does look like that on the outside or whatever just something that can trigger somebody's nice memory for them to start thinking well actually I might want to go there or just anything like that do you know what I mean something that actually has meaning to people like this building that I'm building Buckingham Palace. This has so much meaning to so many people around the world as well, not just for us UK folk. You know, Buckingham Palace, it's where Charles was born, I believe. And, you know, Ch the Charles III, King Charles III, I believe Buckingham Palace was where he was born. That's what I saw on Google in my last video when I searched up what his last name was and they didn't tell me. They just told me <laughs> that his last name was the third. <laughs> so I struggled a bit with that. Uh, but yeah, I struggled with that a bit. Uh, so... It's like when you put the first windows in, it's easy because you just follow a pattern then, don't you? It's just getting started on the, them windows. That is quite tough. So I'm hoping that this has been a good experience for you guys. And I'd like to know if you've been to Buckingham Palace and in another video I'm planning on making Windsor Castle however I think it's too big because I looked at it before I made this video about Buckingham Palace and I honestly think that it's too big to make in Sims because if you search it up, if you see the size of it, you must look at the size of it. That isn't going to fit in my little Sims lot, is it? So, But we can but try, so we are going to try it. Just... I hope this video gets good attention or just some attention is what I'm looking for but good attention obviously like I don't want anyone to be mean to anybody because that's not what I've come here for uh, nobody has I've just come here personally because I enjoy making well playing these games and I thought, do you know what? I actually want to try out this YouTube, like doing YouTube stuff. And so I thought, well, why don't I then? So I had some of the stuff already, like my Xboxes. Uh, I was going to say Xboxes. I do have Xboxes, but I only have... Well, I'm not, I don't mean only. I have my Xbox I'm playing on, which is my favourite. I have Xbox 360 because my granddad gave me it after he didn't want it anymore. And he also gave me his original Xbox because my granddad is old. Um, 
but he's actually a gamer. Like, he wasn't a gamer in his time because he was born pre pre World War Two. Basically, to give you an idea, my granddad was born before no during. My granddad was born during World War Two, and so was my grandma, which is amazing. And they are the nicest people on earth. Honest to God, they are. Yeah, so they were born in Second World War uh, and experienced some of the war. My granddad was in the army for a little while and, you know, I find it fascinating to listen to him and his stories that he has told before. I don't want to sound like some sort of, you know, I don't, wanna, I don't know what it'd sound like, but I don't want to sound like, you know, anything stupid. But he has told me stories before, only a few times because he um, can't remember as much as he used to be able to, obviously, because he's very old. And I imagine one day I will stop uploading for some reason. Whatever the reason is, I don't know. And I don't know if I want to know because it might sound weird. Well, it will. It will sound weird to you guys. But... Ever since I was a kid, I never could see myself living to a ripe old age. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know what it is or what it was that made me think that. But sometimes I can sort of not see into the future. That's like such a wrong, the wrong term. But I sort of got a feeling as to what was going to happen with certain things. Um, so I got a certain feeling to certain things, like what was going to happen, um, and or that it would happen. I knew that it would happen at some point, I just didn't know when. But some things I haven't been able to see past. Um, that's looking good, that. that I, there was a, a wall right there, so I couldn't put anything. I presume that on the other side, there is the same tunnels. So I'm going to just real quick build them. So I'm going to carry on just telling you things, just so you don't get too bored. You might find it interesting, or you might find it even more boring than watching me do this very slowly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can't help it if you don't like me. But as I was saying, it's weird. I'll tell you a ghost story if you like. I was in the last house we lived in. We moved, we lived there for 10 years. And I presume there's a brick archway there as well. So I lived, we lived there for 10 years and um it was nice but it was quite haunted to be quite honest 
Um, it was haunted. I aren't joking. So, we would often find things were, were moved that we didn't move and things went missing and then appeared again like a few like later on if you like and you know that happened a lot um and it's fine like there's nothing wrong with it now because the house we're in now is sort of haunted but It is haunted, but uh, not as obviously. Um, although I have looked through the windows sometimes, like from the outside, and there's been somebody looking back. Which is fucking creepy. So I try not to think about them, that thing. I try not to think about it because I don't want to scare myself and when I get sort of scared it sort of seems to bring it on more do you know what I mean um it does it sort of seems to bring it on more when I'm scared so um so I try not to get scared basically And I try not to talk about it because then, you know, that brings up everything as well. So, um, I try my best not to talk about it. But it's it interests me, that's the thing. Like, it, it interests me. How far did I put that? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's okay. So, yeah, basically... Um, I, I was going to tell you a ghost story but I just got rambling again and one day I was on my bedroom floor I was quite young um, young enough to be laying on my bedroom floor basically um, and I was laying on the bedroom floor and I was colouring into a book um, and drawing and everything like that and I looked up from the book and there was nothing there and I was like facing my doorway just to give you a, um, a perspective if you like I was facing my bedroom door and the bedroom door was wide open and there was nothing there like you would expect but then I sort of like I, I felt like there was someone watching me um, so I looked up but without sort of realising it I'd looked up and there was a lady in white dress stood there and I mean I didn't I didn't think anything of it and then I looked back down and then it registered with me and I thought actually what in God's name was that so then I looked back up real quick and it had gone and I was so confused and I was quite scared um, and it was it was literally a woman like a stereotypical ghost a woman with long black hair in a long white dress that went all the way down to the floor such a stereotypical ghost I didn't see her face um, I didn't get any feelings of badness or any names pop into my head or anything um, I just I think I just went back I just went downstairs and 
I just thought, well, bloody hell, do you know what I mean? <laughs> what else can you think, really? So, yeah, I just carried on. Just carried on. Uh, I've got so many ghost stories. In this house we're in now, at this moment in time, um, I've... Well, I used my bedroom used to be downstairs, uh, which was creepy because I was the only one down there. Then I was the only person downstairs, and it's a dark and creepy house. Anyway, it's a very dark house. Like, even though there's windows, it's always dark. Do you know what I mean? So, it's a very dark place to live. Um, but anyway, yeah. And uh, my bedroom used to be downstairs. Oh, and I tell you what. This is really scary, okay. What happened to me that night, one night of the nights, right, I was, oh it creeps me out thinking about it, I was in my room and I was trying to get to sleep like you do. Um, let me just save the game, sorry guys. I was in my room trying to get to sleep and I heard this like Am I doing this right? No, it's a bit further up than that, I think. That's it, that's the one. Sorry guys. And I was so and I was in my room and it was pitch black and I was on my own and I was creeped out already. I don't know why I was creeped out already. Um probably just because because I was young and it was dark and I was on the only one downstairs. Um and so it was hard. It was tricky because I didn't know, I didn't know what to do or anything. So I was in my room. And I heard this bloody noise. Oh, and it scared the absolute living daylights out of me. It was like some sort of horrible scraping. It was awful. And I shouted at my mum. And she came down. And she listened. And she heard it too. And I am not shitting you. My mum's never heard out like it. Never heard out like it. It was awful. Really scary. I'd never heard out like it. And my mum's never heard out like it. You know. It was chilling. I can't even explain what type of noise it was, guys. Because I can't. I can't even replicate it with my mouth and we looked everywhere to find the source of that noise we couldn't see a bloody thing it was like scratching but from like in between the walls so fucking weird it was from like in between the walls it was hot oh my god it was horrible I mean, what sort of scary shit is that? It was like in between the fucking walls. Oh my god, I was so scared and it scares me now. We could not, for the living life of us, find what the source to that noise was. And to this day, I don't think we ever will. That's the thing. Unless we like rip up the floorboards everywhere in the house and find out there's like a dead cat buried or something. Or like a witch's head or something. 
Do you know what I mean? It was like, it was like, it was borderline satanic. It was, oh, it was awful. And then I couldn't sleep, obviously, for the rest of the night. My mum couldn't sleep after she'd have shed that as well, because she's never had out like it. Oh, it was awful. We'd never had out like it, I swear to God. I've decided I'm going to put a little wonder up here. Just to add a little bit more light. But only in this bottom part. Like, not, not on the... And you know, like in this courtyard part, not in the main castle that faces outside. Because I don't want to ruin it. She would have had stables, I would imagine. Queen or whoever lived here. They would have had stables, but I don't have room for stables. And I don't even have horses. I really, really want a sim pack with horses. That, that is what I'm desperate for right now. Honest to God. That's all I want. A sim pack with horses. So somebody better get on it now because I really want that. Is that... Symmetrical. And that is. One second. <sighs> that was creepy. After talking about all that stuff, I just heard a knock on my door and I was like, shit, what was that? So I paused the video and I said hello. And nobody answered. So I said hello again, louder, and it was my brother. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But I was shitting bricks. <laughs> so this is the outcome of Buckingham Palace. I wouldn't mind living here myself. I think I've made this really nice. I'm quite impressed. So thank you. Thank you for watching my Buckingham Palace video. It's gone on a lot longer than it should have done. But that's because I'm a slow coach. And I'm rubbish at being quick in these type in these games anyway. So well I'm rubbish at being fast full stop basically. So thank you for watching. This was the outside of Buckingham Palace being made. And you'll never see anything like this ever again. Okay, so I'm going to save it and all that and I'll see you in the next video where I decorate Buckingham Palace. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.